almost everybody I know is looking for financial freedom. Nobody wants to carry on going nine to five. We all want a route out. And not only a route out, an easy and risk-free route out. There are a lot of risk-free side hustles. Like I keep saying, think out of the box and you'll be amazed at the opportunities. My name is Lua and I create content around day-to-day um, -day topics, my family life, as well as keeping healthy as a busy mom of four. This video is actually a follow-up from my last video which had a lot of positive feedback questions and I thought there's a lot more from where that came and I was going to share. I'm going to talk about five very non considered and profitable out of the box ideas without any income you can start earning decent money and make up to a thousand pounds or more a month if this sounds like something that would interest you carry on watching and especially to the end of the video because i've got the most juicy ones at the end we are on our route to 2000 subscribers and i would love that if you like my content and you watch me regularly it doesn't really harm you to subscribe or share let's get in the first profitable side hustle which I'll talk about now, is you're able to be creative in the digital space. Right now, especially after COVID, we all know that the world has moved very rapidly to a digital and a cloud space. Everything is happening online, virtual, right? We know about birthday parties now on Zoom. We know even about weddings. We know about funerals. That's just the tip of the iceberg. A lot more content creators emerged during lockdown. So between 2020 and now, we have a lot of people who earn a living as content creators. Now I'm talking about that. This point is for people who have the creative knack to help those who can only sit down like myself and talk and dish out whatever we've got to entertain the public, but might not really be savvy on, on the, like the creative side of things. Things like editing videos with designs on your thumbnail. It's really very lucrative. So if you think about it, some people can only shoot videos and get somebody else to edit it so it can outsource that. And if you are that person who's sitting down and thinking, I have all these creative ideas. I can come up with all these swanky nice videos and I can do the job for you. Why not consider registering your services with people like People Per Hour, Upwork. There's loads of online platforms again it depends on how much time you have to spare because it's a side hustle if you're editing a whole video it's a lot more time and it's a lot more money if you're doing just things like thumbnails voiceovers again depending so in the month you can very comfortably earn about 700 to 1000 pounds depending on how much time you've got just bear in mind as well that the, the, the websites where you actually get these jobs from, like people per hour, it depends on how where you are in the world, how quickly you can get the jobs done. So again, how much time you've got, as well as consider that they will take a percentage of your pay. So just work smart while you're there. So that's another side hustle that you don't need any income. All you need is a laptop. Again, if you're in this space, probably have a good laptop that you can edit videos and make money. This one is, is gone again even more popular after the pandemic. If you've got a car outside and you're probably working from home, you don't use your car often, you pay insurance, you pay tax and it's serviced. Think about Uber Eats. Think about Deliveroo. This again is a very, very lucrative side hustle and it's straightforward. What you need to do is obviously be on the right insurance, make sure your car is up to date and you register on the different platforms. There's Deliveroo, the Uber Eats, the all sorts. I'm not really takeaway person, so I cannot give you the whole list, but most of you know, those of you who get a lot of takeaway, there are platforms that act as an intermediary between the customer and the restaurants. So you, the, you know, what you do is you go through them, you order your food and it's delivered to you pronto. So it's, if, if you're just thinking, I want extra money, just type right now, rentafriend.com. Wherever you are, there's some in the UK, in the US, it's very popular in the US. It's, let me just explain this to you if you've never heard about it. You know how you have your bestie, and your bestie lives in a different town. See, you're very shy, you don't have a lot of friends, maybe you've moved to a new environment or you work somewhere else and you have this work party and you need to attend and you, have a, you need a plus one. Who do you go with? You cannot fly your friend from miles away. She's got kids, she's got a family. 
what do you do? You go to rent a friend and you rent a friend. You rent a friend. So just so before you start thinking, oh, new dating website, purely platonic relationships. It's not a dating website. You cannot go there and look for romance. It is purely to get a friend. What is really popular with rent a friend is sharing different religions, sharing different cultures, different likes, different dislikes, different habits. It's an amazing way, but you get paid. Sometimes not only do you get paid because if your services, if you register yourself and opt, for example, if you think that I can engage in a conversation at a certain level, that's where you pitch yourself. And you go out to a work party, you meet executives, and you're able to keep up a conversation, you get paid for it. You don't only get good food, you don't only make, make new friends that can influence the decisions in your life, you get paid for it. So why not look around, register yourself? Not only for the money, you're doing something good because you're making somebody who is lonely have a friend. Think about it. It's really an unknown discussed side hustle. I don't know about if you guys know about it, but your girl here, I know about it, and it, it's it's a good source of passive income. It's great, very mature, and a way to earn money. There's loads of checks being done before you're approved as well, so don't worry. The next one um, is renting your car. I've talked about renting several things from household equipment in my last video, which I'm going to just pin somewhere to renting your car. Again, so people might have never heard about this. If you've got a car, weekends, you probably don't go out, you spend your cozy times with your partner at home, coiled up, your neighbor next door might need a car to go away. A car, as you all know, is not an asset, it's a liability, right? Anything that you spend money on that doesn't really yield you any revenue is a liability. So what I always say about this point is turn your car into an asset. And depending on which website you register, the websites like Turo, Hayakar, and a lot of other websites where you can register your car. If it's keyless, it's better. If your car is actually green, it's better. If it's a new car that you're paying a lot of money on, you can actually do that. There is warrant guarantee that once your car is brought back, you'll be fully inspected and any damages you'll be paid for. But you can make up to £750 in two weeks in a month. That's a side hustle. Depending again, if you're working from home permanently, you might think, actually, I can rent my car to a professional who is driving to work. Instead of going to the big boys to rent cars and pay the odd, like enterprise and the rest, why not come to my car? Why not rent my car and I get the money? I'm not using the car. You know, any comeback is fully balloted. So that's another very good side hustle. And the last one is actually freelance services and a lot of money to be made. You can offer yourself as a social media manager. I might be right here and I've got 1 million followers on TikTok. I've got 1,000 followers on Snapchat. I've got a million followers on Instagram. I'm attending all these events. I'm an influencer par excellence. And I'm thinking, how do I manage all this? You hire a social media manager. What a social media manager does, take over your account. Obviously the people who um, are very good at this naturally they just know what to post. All you do is just feed them the information, give them the input, give them your pictures, you tell them where you are, you have an arrangement. You can actually get paid up to a thousand pounds a month to manage all platforms. It feels like it's a main job, but you can pick what you want. You can have two accounts that you manage and keep a day job. Do that in the evening. It's a side hustle. It is something that you do for a period of time and you, you can zone out once you've achieved your goals. It is an amazing side hustle. Again, not only do you manage the account, you can think about freelance options like being a, a virtual assistant. Then advertise yourself again. Um, places like People Per Hour, Upwork, and a lot of other platforms. People have like said in the last video, people reach out to me with my small following and say, do you want me to, to, to make you nice pictures? Do you want me to do this? There are those possibilities. You need to actually be upfront about it and offer you services. Don't be shy. It's what they approached. You know, you, some people might be there thinking, I want to do this, but I don't even know where to start. So try to offer, be upfront about it. Look for influencers that have the same interests like you. Write to them and offer to manage their platforms. There is no harm in doing that. I can tell you that for free. So that, that's another really good way to, to make extra money. And what you'll find out is that you might have two clients over long term and it might progress from a side hustle into a main thing. Who doesn't want to work for themselves? Who? I know that I want to. I know for a fact that I will love 
to be able to have my own business run things my own way without going nine to five i hope that you found this points helpful you could help somebody somebody sitting out there thinking i need extra money i need to pay off my my credit card i need to pay off this loan i need to save up for a mortgage these are very good side hustles. i want to go on holiday i want to, you know i want the nice things in life these are side hustles that will definitely make your dreams come true if you've enjoyed watching this video please give us a thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything to like leave your comments and any other ideas that you think you want to discuss bring them there'll be a follow-up video on separate streams of income and i'll go now to people who have the actual money saved and we'll talk about how you can turn your money saving a bank account into actually making money so thanks again for watching and see you in the next video bye bye